Take a deep breath. Dear friends and family, we have gathered here today to joyfully acknowledge the wedding of Patricia and Scott. They have requested your presence on this special day in order that you might share with them the pledging of their everlasting love on their day of commitment. Let us pray in silence as we wish them all happiness in their new life together. Gracious God, we lift Scott and Patricia to you as they embark on this great adventure of marriage together. May your grace bless them every step of the way. Amen. I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having carefully considered the holy covenant you're about to make, you do now declare before these friends and family your pledge of faith, each to the other. Scott, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? and forsaking all others, keep you only to her so long as you both shall live? I do. Patricia, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only to him so long as you both shall live? I do. Who gives this man to be married? Who gives this woman to be married? <laughs> All of her parents did. Great. Thank you. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8 give an incredible description of love. It says, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never ends. Marriage is one of the most important obligations that any two people commit to in life. Marriage offers great challenges to overcome, but in return, marriage gives us love, strength, and support from one another. It is the couple who perseveres, Excuse me. It is the couple who perseveres and demonstrates unrelenting patience and faith who obtains the highest happiness within their marriage. A good marriage is dependent upon many factors, but the first prerequisite is a strong bond of friendship and respect for one another. Your love for each other will grow deeper with the passing of each day, but genuine liking for each other, the willingness to accept, accept each other's strong and weak points with understanding and respect. These two are the foundation stones that support a strong marriage. The vows that you are about to exchange serve as a verbal representation of the love you pledge to each other. For it is not so much the words you speak today which will bond you together as one, but it is the inner sense of love and commitment that each of you feels within your soul. Hold them faithfully all your life, and your love will bloom and grow and support you always. Please 
step forward and come on up. Scott and Patricia, would you please turn and face each other as you say your wedding vows? I, Patricia, choose you, Scott, to be my husband, lover and companion, now and forever. I promise to share my life openly with you, to communicate my feelings to you, so we may always grow in our understanding of each other. <laughs> I promise to honor and tenderly care for you, to love, cherish, and respect you through all the changes and experiences of our lives, according to God's holy will. And I entrust to you my faithfulness. I entrust you. <laughs> my, my, yeah. So long as we both as we both shall live. I Scott. I Scott. Choose you, Patricia. Choose you, Patricia. To be my wife. Be my wife. Lover and companion. Lover and companion. Now and forever. Now and forever. I promise. I promise. To share my life, to share my life openly with you, openly with you, to communicate, to communicate my feelings, my feelings to you, to you, so we may always, so we may always grow in our understanding, grow in our understanding of each other, of each other. I promise to honor, I promise to honor and tenderly care, and tenderly care for you, for you, to love, to love, cherish and respect you, cherish and respect you. Through all the changes, through all the changes, and experiences, and experiences of our lives, of our lives, according to God's holy will, according to God's holy will, as I entrust, and I trust to you my faithfulness, to you my faithfulness, so long, so long as we both, so long as we both shall live. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have some special music it's played by Patricia's brother. Uh, Brian Geyer, who is serving with the Peace Corps in Kenya, Africa, and his girl from Indonesia. symbol of love 
which binds Scott and Patricia together. Like the shape of the ring, their love is never ending. Like the materials of which the ring is fashioned, their love is precious. Scott, as you place this ring on Patricia's finger, please repeat after me your commitment of marriage. I give you this ring, Patricia, as a symbol of the never-ending love we share. Wear it with love and joy, for I choose you to be my wife this day and every day. And Patricia, as you place this ring on Scott's finger, please repeat after me your commitment of marriage. I give you this ring, you this ring. Scott, Scott, as a symbol, as a symbol. of the never-ending never love we share. Love we share. Wear, it Wear it with love and joy. With love and joy. For, I you for I choose you to be my husband, be my husband. This, day this day and every day. Every day. With the blessings of all the family and friends who are present, under the authority vested in me by this state, and in the name of our God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Scott, you may kiss your bride.